Yo, what's up? Today, I'm ranking all lives of PE bosses from easiest to hardest, so let's go. Number 1. Puppet of the Future. He just stands there, the goal is hitting its legs until he's out. Sometimes he tries to step on you, but you can just dodge easily. Later in the game, you have the opportunity to fight them in less favorable conditions, but anyways, as it is, this is the easiest. Number 2. Mad Donkey. This guy is super easy. Introduction to humanoid boss fights. The thing with these fights is they're kinda faster, so sometimes it can be overwhelming or something. This guy really doesn't care if you get his back, it's way easier to stab this guy on the back compared to other human enemies. Number 3. Door Guardian. You gotta stab this thing's feet until you get the opportunity to stab him properly. I wonder why I can aim towards his genitals. The way he jumps around can be a problem, but you can deal with it. Number 4. Parade Master. The tutorial boss. As a boss, this thing is good to show how most boss fights will be. Blocking its attacks is easy, as far as easy blocks go in this game. At this point, he doesn't have much to overwhelm you, so go ahead. Number 5. Survivor. This man is really mad, and you gotta put an end to his pain. This man is more against being stabbed in the back compared to Mad Donkey, but you can still get him. I use the electric arm, so they literally fly if I charge that. Number 6. Owl Doctor. This one is more aggressive compared to the survivor, but he still jumps around and leaves his back wide open for you to stab him. Other than that, he has a knife, but that's not much damage. Blocking normally already saves you, and perfect blocking is really good in this game. Go ahead and do your thing. Show this man you're more human than him. Number 7. White Lady. At the end of the day, it's a white lady, so don't worry about being labeled racist. She doesn't really like giving her back to you good one. And she's really fast, faster than the other humans you've killed until now. I'm still mad, as in the recording I've wasted my fable arts, so yeah. Number 8. Mad Clown Puppet. The hardest part is reaching this man while there's other puppets around, so what I do is run towards the stargazer in front of the opera house, then I can fight him alone. He's nothing special alone, the rhythm of the perfect blocks are easy to get a handle on, so you will easily get this clown out. Now, if this was a clown girl puppet, things could be more interesting. Number 9. Rubber Weasel. This guy's a young man trying to reach a full belly during an apocalypse. At the end of the day, he attacked us first, so no hard feelings. In the footage, I'm kinda slow, as in this run I lost my swag with slashing, so... This man's easy at the end of the day. Just another guy who's fast but weak. He also loves trade knives, so good luck. Number 10, King's Flame Fuaco. You gotta beat this thing to free Vanini. He's just a classic fire enemy. Learning the attack patterns is easy, dodging makes this fight very easy. So, evade the fire, he spreads around, you can literally hide behind the pipes, which I didn't know in my first playthrough, so I thought I had to get as far as possible from him, which worked, but, you know, easier to stand behind the pipes. Number 11, Scrapped Watchman. This is the first proper boss fight after the tutorial. He has some nice moves, electric energy, and once he gets to the second stage, he has a grab that's auto-kill almost, so watch out for that. Anyways, I love perfect blocking that one combo he does with each arm and then he finishes with both, that's epic. Number 12, Eldest of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. The Eldest is nothing special without the brothers, in this footage his brothers glitched out and I managed to show how helpless he is without help, but anyways, the Eldest is slow enough and his brothers are fast enough for you to be able to deal with the miners quickly, so nothing special. Number 13, Walker of Illusion. This is literally a power-up version of an NPC. She's going crazy as you might imagine, nothing special, she's fast though. Then she can split into clones of herself. If you beat the main cycle, the clone goes away, so yeah, good luck. Number 14, Fallen Archbishop Andrews. Even a bishop can be taken away by Ergo. This is a two-stage boss fight. Beat the creatures, then you can beat both the creature and the bishop. The main problem can be the Ergo Blast they do, that's insta-kill. When they do that, the monster throws it first, and you gotta get close to the body to dodge. You can also perfect block, as I did once, um, good luck on that. Number 15, Black Cat. Um, uh, this is the same as the Atone, but kinda harder. I don't have footage of the Atone, as in this playthrough I showed her the stalker move. Anyways, the Black Cat and his sister have been fooling us for a while now, so we gotta get back at them. He just uses his spear and it's harder to get to his back, but perfect blocking and then heavy attack combos are easy to get on this man. So get out of here, black cat. Number 16, Red Fox. As far as humanoid bosses go, this is the hardest, you know what I mean. These guys will run around the map like crazy and as we still haven't reached like Seiji. 
So she's faster than the others, her rage attack is tricky, so yeah, she gets the podium for these bandits. Number 17, King of Puppets. The thing is, this is easy, but first you gotta understand how it works. Whenever he spins, you have a free perfect block. There's the two explosions, one you gotta get close, the other you gotta get far, blah blah blah. Once Romeo comes out, it gets harder, but not really. You can actually just dodge towards his back, then he stops his combo. Yeah, once I've learned this, I lost all respect to my best of friend. Number 18, Champion Victor. This man's overwhelmed with the power he got. Kinda weird to have him higher than Romeo. In a battle, I think Romeo could get him out, but you know, as a boss, this guy is harder. This fight is a hit and run as far as it goes. Hit some, then run. Understand when his combos end and get back at him. Once he transforms, he adds some new hits to his combos, but nothing special. Still the same thing, hit and run. Number 19, Corrupted Parade Master. Fighting this thing when I was so emotionally invested in the first playthrough was a walk in the park, but during the second one, I don't know what happened to me. This man is a little bit faster and he turns into a raging baby once he throws himself to the ground. Then he spits some zombies as well. You can get overwhelmed sometimes, but overall, it's easy. Get him. Number 20, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Now it's time to fight these guys all together. Once there's only one brother left, the oldest will come back to life, so you better leave the last two almost dead at the same time. Then you go ahead and win. The oldest is kinda stronger now, it's still a hit and run fight, sometimes he tricks you into thinking you can attack, but you soon realize when he's tired and can attack. Number 21, Green Monster of the Swamp. This thing is aggressive. After a while his moveset gets stuck in your mind. I'm going crazy remembering his moveset as well. Perfect blocks become second nature after losing so much against this thing. Second stage, she takes Crabbed Watchman's body, his moveset changes a bit, he's more aggressive, but once you become one with the chair, you realize. Once he has the monster face, you run, or you get perfect blocks. Then you get this thing out and fake Alodoro takes the treasure and sells you a blade, which I thought was the last weapon from him until I realized Laxasia and Simon also drop Ergo. Number 22, Simon Magus. This man has been enslaving our maiden for so long, so we gotta make him pay. Plus, this man is being blasphemous, so we gotta put an end to this. First stage, easy. Learn the moveset, he likes swinging around it. It's really easy to perfect block. Second stage, it's the main expansion. He gets all the power going on. Explosive hands coming from the sky, corruption lightning. But he still loves to jump and swing the same way, so you can get a bunch of damage going on. I really love seeing my enemies HP deplete this fast after I've made so many attack power upgrades. Number 23, Nameless Puppet. Fighting Geppetto's son. He kept his body conserved for this. He is easy to block, but you still take a lot of damage. He also teabags you once he wins, and he uses pulse cells sometimes. Once he goes second stage, he starts using new powers and gets stronger. The His combos get crazier also, but at the end of the day, you get an anime ending, and Geppetto finally realizes you were always there for him. Even though he only thought about his dead son, you were his son. Number 24, Laxatia the Complete. I gotta say, I thought the second playthrough would be easier, but it took me 40 minutes to take her out. She goes from slow to fast real quick, the armor sections get easy after a while, just attack a bunch, dodge through the attacks, get the acid going on and stab her. Break her shield or don't, we don't care. Then she takes the armor off, showing that it smashes. But this gets harder. Um, she has a lightning power, she teleports around, delays her attacks as she finds fit, all because of her devotion to Simon. Once you beat her, everything comes together. <sighs> That's it for today. If you think I've messed up with this ranking, let me know. See ya around.